Hello, Spirits of Vengeance, and welcome back to the Ghost Rider Vlogs. Welcome back everyone, and uh, today's issue is going to be uh, Ghost Rider number 43 of the original run. Uh, and the title, uh, according to the inside cover, is Night of the Crimson Mage. On the cover, however, we have uh, go the Ghost Rider title card normally, but just underneath it says Versus Johnny Blaze. Also on the cover, we have the Ghost Rider lifting up Johnny Blaze while telling him to prepare for a taste of hell. Very is evident and apparent, according to even just the cover alone, that Johnny Blaze and the Ghost Rider have now been separated. Um, this is because of the uh, red, the Crimson Mage, rather, uh, mentioned on the inside cover, who is named, uh, I'm trying to not to butcher it, is Azazia, uh, which is actually some sort of religious uh, mumble jumble. I'm not entirely sure about the whole thing, but essentially. This is some sort of wizard character who managed to get himself a powerful orb which extended his life beyond many, many generations that was supposed to last. And he's using his magic now as... He continues to use this orb, but the orb continues to weaken. And now his plan is to use the powers he has garnered to separate Giant Blaze from Ghost Rider. Somehow remove Giant Blaze, either render him unconscious or just flat out kill him and then use the orb in order to take over the powers of Ghost Rider and then get his vengeance on whomever, apparently. So... So since a couple of uh, gun-running thieves have uh, gotten the Ghost Rider's ire, uh, the mage uses them to try and get the Ghost Rider's attention again and lure him into a trap and separate Giant Blaze and Ghost Rider. The Ghost Rider decides it wants to go off and wreak vengeance and proceeds to do so after threatening Johnny Blaze if he ever tries to stop him. Johnny kind of figures, well, things are kind of going to be back to normal. I don't have to have the dark shroud of gloom and doom because of Ghost Rider over my head all the time anymore. Heads off to a diner to, nearby to have himself a bite to eat, and all of a sudden he starts hearing about the fact that places are being set fire and a couple of people have been seeing the Ghost Rider. Johnny finally decides that he needs to stop this and has a f confrontation with the writer only to be rendered unconscious but also notices that both he himself and the Ghost Rider are both getting weaker as this continues. Apparently both of them being uh, part of the same power force that gives them energy and is draining the life out of all of them, both of them as long as they are separated. So he has to confront the Ghost Rider again and is doing so in order to try and combine them both and try and convince the Ghost Rider that if uh, this continues that they'll both die. Um, he he has his second run-in with the Ghost Rider after stealing a bike and breaking free of a hospital after being rendered unconscious from the first attack. And uh, we end our book with them fighting and Giant getting knocked over by the uh, slightly faster Ghost Rider as he is getting ready to impale Johnny and permanently remove him from the equation, uh, believing that if he killed Johnny that the energy drain would stop. So, uh, interesting little plot we have going on here. Also, the art style is a little more fresher, but at the same time, uh, it's a little odd in places because all of a sudden Johnny is kind of beefy. I don't know why. But, um, art style is art style. It's... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but art style is art style. Uh, he does a fairly decent job, especially with the Ghost Rider. Um, so we're going to see how things go, and uh, I'm going to see how the new artist works out for this book. But that is it for now, and I will see you all next time.